Yo, what is going on? Welcome to my first video. Now, today what I'm gonna be showing you guys how to do is a super, super sick transition. It's gonna allow you to replace those hard cuts between scenes with these super seamless transitions. Now, what this is gonna do is it's gonna tie these two clips together so they just flow together super nicely and it looks insanely fluid. Now, it's gonna look a little something like this. So if that interests you at all, feel free to stick around and let me know what you think. See you in the next clip. Okay, so now that we're at our first location, what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull the camera out, point it at our subject, and then drop the camera down. Now, what that's gonna allow us to do is put a super seamless cut right as the camera drops when we have all that motion blur, and we'll be able to mask it super nicely with the camera movement from the second shot. Now hopefully, if you get your first shot looking super clean, it'll look something like this. All right, so now that we're at our second location, we're actually not gonna just pull the camera out and shoot our subject. We're actually gonna hold the camera up in the air and then drop it down and shoot the subject. In this case, it's just a bunch of leaves, but hopefully, if we have our two clips looking exactly right, then we'll have a super seamless and really good looking final product. Now that said, um, that second clip should look a little something like this. All right. Now that we have our two clips together, hopefully they'll look super, super sick and they'll look really clean next to one another. So let's jump into our editing software and check them out. All right, so let's get into this. So first things first, I'm going to line up my two clips together. All right, so they look pretty lined up. Now what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna go through here and I'm gonna cut right where I need the cut to happen. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut the first clip as soon as it sees the mirror. So that's about at a 45 degree camera tilt. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna look here for the camera to for the clip to begin. I'm gonna do it right about at the top of this window here that I shot. Now once I've done that, you'll notice that the two clips look super, super seamless with one another. You barely even notice the cut. All right, now what you could do here is you could call it and end your whole thing here, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go the extra mile and I'm gonna add a whoosh sound effect. So that way everything lines up really nicely and it sounds awesome. Now I happen to know that this particular whoosh sound effect comes really loud stock. So I'm gonna bring the um, volume down to negative 10 decibels. So let's hear how that sounds. I love that, that looks awesome. Now what I'm gonna do even further is I'm gonna drag a song in here because I think everything looks a little bit better with a drop, if you know what I'm saying. So let's drag the drop in here and let's see how it looks. That's awesome. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move the whole sequence forward a few frames, then I'm gonna bring the song back, so that way it's a little bit of a more cinematic type of feeling. That's awesome, all right. But I'm gonna do the same thing at the end where I uh, cut the song off a few frames after the whole sequence ends, and then I'll keyframe the song so that it ends a little bit smoother, if you know what I'm talking about. All right, let's see how this all looks now. Boom, that looks nuts. All right, I really like the way that looks. That is right, you guys. Thank you so much for sticking around to the end of the video and seeing how I actually put this whole sequence together. I cannot actually tell you how many times I shot and edited this entire video. When I was out there shooting the mirror and the leaves, I shot that whole thing three times because I really wanted to get the lighting right and I really wanted to get some good camera angles and really get a dynamic video. Whereas with the editing part of the video, I did it five times. Five times, I edited the entire video five times. Like, oh my gosh, it was such a pain. But hey, in the end, I'm glad. I think I finally got a really good product to actually push out. And I hope that kind of signifies to you guys what I'm gonna be about in terms of creating content for this channel. So, if you guys would be at all interested, or if you guys actually just really enjoyed this video, it would mean a lot to me if you would like the video, or maybe even subscribe. But hey, I too would be skeptical if someone asked me to subscribe to a YouTube account that had three videos, one of which is like an actual video. So, you know, only you know what to do, but uh, hey, I would appreciate it. That said, I hope you guys did enjoy, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye. One more time.